Monday, June 18th, 2018, and we are at 1401 Tyrone Court here in Castleberry, Florida, 32707. It's really not a subdivision, a platted subdivision called Duck Pond, but it's actually just in Castleberry. I am Top Castleberry Realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Realty Real Estate. If you're looking for an agent who knows Castleberry, is committed to the area, our top Remax agent, someone who's been doing the business for 28 years. Let me help you too. Here we are at the corner of Tyrone and Lake. And why are we not in front of the house? Because the purpose of the video is not just to see the pictures that are on Zillow, realtor.com, which everyone can see but to get a feel for what it's like in the neighborhood to actually live here and be here. We've got some single family homes in here like this one, our subject property, concrete block home, built in 1963. Got a couple of those. We also have a couple of manufactured homes. They're not mobile homes because they don't move. They are manufactured homes. It's so definitely an affordable area of Cassaberry. That's what you're looking for. One of the things that comes up a lot is we're walking down the street giving you a feel for things. So a lot of people see these affordable homes and then want to get financing, which is super natural to do, but kind of funny in your real estate. You know, I get a call, someone's like, yeah, I'm approved by my lender for 60,000, I'm gonna go VA. It's just so not possible. Um, the VA, any lender only loans on a house that needs no repairs. Plumbing, electrical, AC, roof, anything like that. No cracked windows, everything in good shape. And any house is a general rule under 125 to 150,000 is going to be needing repairs. That's why it's that price. So just from the repairs alone, you're not going to get the mortgage. Plus, cannot finance a mobile home like that, cash only. What is all, I get on the calls, people say, what does cash only mean? That means only cash. It means to make an offer to the bank statement with that amount of cash just to make the offer. That's what the seller wants to see. So these are all bought cash only. Can finance them if they're in really good shape. But few of these are. All right, let's go inside. So now we've seen the neighborhood. Let's go inside. These properties are hot. A lot of people think it's in bad shape. And that means it's gonna sell for cheap. What that really means is people go crazy Multiple cars, people waiting, everybody wants them. The cheaper they are, the more popular. This one's definitely a total rehab. Roof, start all the way down, steal the cracks. Probably plumbing, electrical, fixtures, kitchen. I'm sure that's the laundry room. I'm guessing that is got a gas dryer in it and the electrical panel. Jump on in, step up, welcome home. Here we are. So two bedrooms, one bath, about 890 square feet. Built about 67 or so. Is concrete block. Got the nice living area. Got the dining area. Got the kitchen. Kitchen could be saved. You could fix it up. You probably would not want to. I would say this was a rental. One point, for one into foreclosure. An interesting little throne, all built up. Your one bathroom. Couldn't see the AC unit outside. It's probably 
going to need to be replaced. Bedrooms, as you would expect, a little on the small side. This is bedroom number two. And bedroom number one, a little bit bigger. Plenty of space in there, holy cow. And let's go outside. I love it when I get the call on this and people say, how bad is it? When we're looking in this price range, in this kind of condition, can't see inside there through the dirt, it doesn't really matter how bad it is because it's all going to have to be replaced anyway. Maybe they will keep electrical panel or plumbing or something, but anything, if you were to buy it, fix it up, and leave it in its 1967 or current glory, is probably going to give you problems down the road. And you'll look back and say, we're standing on a slab here. I think there was a building out here. And you'll say, I should have done that. This is definitely the reason for a high fence. Was a fence here. Maybe about the time I was born. This is the reason for fences right here. Now, I know it's supposed to be a six-foot, according to the city. Somehow they built like a eight-foot stockade straight across there. Can't beat a code. I don't know they got away with it, but they did. That certainly would be nice over here, although expensive to build. You can see even that. If you don't replace that somehow, break it up, repour it, you're going to have problems with that down the road. Notice the gas there. Notice the gas there the AC unit. So the exciting part about this house is you buy this house, spend thirty, forty thousand dollars fixing it up, rent it for a year or two. You could flip it, but even better to rent it for a year or two. Someone's gonna make a fortune. This house was all cute, no stains, everything fixed up. Then all that matters, some young family comes in, they're like, what's my down payment? Because once you get it financeable, you can get them in for eight, ten, twelve thousand dollars $12,000. Someone's going to make a fortune off of this. But someone who enjoys doing a lot of work. So if you're looking for a realtor who's committed to Castleberry in all price ranges, upper and lower, call me, Realtor Scott Garrison. Top Castleberry Realtor here at 407 339 3200. And let me help you too.